This poisonous plant might not look dangerous, but it just might have caused the death of one woman here in Washington. And it's growing throughout our state. The plant is hemlock. Our North Bureau Chief Jake Wittenberg joins us live in Bellingham, where one man had a near-death experience. It's a story which is new at 5.30. Jake. Yeah, and Dennis, we're hearing uh, more and more people are being exposed to poisonous hemlock as more and more folks decide to grow their own food in their garden. Here's what we're talking about. This is poisonous hemlock, and one of the main reasons why it is becoming so dangerous is because it resembles normal everyday foods like carrot, or look at the tip here. It looks exactly like the green of a carrot, or parsley, in fact. The only difference between these two things is that the stem has purple spots on most of it here uh, throughout this piece of hemlock that we're holding. And it may look decent, and it may look safe by itself, but it's anything but. 35-year-old David Westerland had good intentions. Grow his own food to save money and stay healthy, but hidden in the garden, a plant he'd never seen before. And I was like, great, we've got onions, and looks like carrots, and I was just thinking, great, I'm going to go in and make something fermented. Just 10 minutes after ingesting chopped up pieces of this plant, he began to feel tremors throughout his body. My eyes aren't tracking. They're just delayed, like the muscles. I, it was weird because nothing like that has ever happened to me. He spent hours in the emergency room. The culprit, poisonous hemlock, a noxious weed that can grow nearly anywhere and in most climates. The poison runs throughout the entire weed and attacks the human nervous system. It grew rampant in Westerland's alleyway and spread. It just didn't cross my mind that something toxic could be in my garden. The State Poison Center reports four other known cases of people eating or being exposed to poisonous hemlock this year. One of them, a Tacoma woman, dying last month after eating a salad containing what medical investigators believe was poison hemlock. Today, we asked friends to identify the woman. They led us to an alley behind her house and showed us this. He eat, eat. She ate. Eat. If confirmed as the cause, she would be the first to die of hemlock poisoning in Washington in 11 years. Thankfully, it was a lot less toxic with me. Westerlin doesn't want anyone else to fall victim. It's just, That's the same thing. it's definitely made me stop and think, you know, I need to make sure I know what I'm pulling up and eating. And this is most dangerous if it's ingested or eaten in any form, one way or another. And the state poison control officials say that in order to remove this, wear gloves. If you see it, pick it, seal it up in a bag, and throw it away. Do not put it in a compost pile so that children or pets could get a hold of it. Reporting live in Bellingham, North Bureau Chief Jake Wittenberg, King 5 News. All right, good advice, Jake. Thank you.